Hey guys, and welcome to another Factorio workshop. As always, I am joined by Madzuri. Greetings. And today we are going over something that I've had a couple people request uh, that I actually don't have a video of anywhere else. So this is uh, perfect for a workshop. Uh, an inserter uh, production chain uh, for filter inserters for your blue science and, or blue, yeah, blue science and then um, inserter and some belt stuff for green science, which we'll show uh, after this one. But uh, I had someone ask, you know, they, they, they were having issues setting up a good chain for producing the filter inserters that worked. Uh, so this is one that we like and it works really quite well. So I'm going to let Zuri, uh, you can go over, you know, kind of the numbers, how much this consumes, you know, and, and stuff like that. Sure. So since the gears and all the inserters take the same crafting time, we can just chain them together and that's my preferred method. I'd rather not belt gears if it has exactly the same craft time. So we direct insert, insert all the way down the chain to get to filter inserters. And I like to have a dedicated build for the blue science and a dedicated build for red science and then elsewhere somewhere is a dedicated build for personal use. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons for that is this thing will eat over a half a yellow belt of iron and these two together just about cap off the yellow belt of green circuits. Yeah, you can see there's only a couple making it past. Yes, yeah, since uh, this craft time is half a second base, and let's see, blue science is uh, 12 seconds, this right here will feed 24 blue science assembly machines. That's bigger than most science builds I've seen that, you know, most people use. Most right. mega base users might use a lot more than that, but we just build more chains. We don't, you know, we don't belt the inserters uh, between each step. That, that seems silly, but I've seen the, it done a lot. Yeah. And a very common, I call it Reddit tier build is mm -hmm. like, four of each of these or six or eight and then they feed the whole thing with a single yellow bell of circuits yeah and that that's never going to feed it and you would need a huge amount of circuit machines right because these take half a second circuits also take half a second and uh between the these this chain here just for the filters takes seven circuits um all in all and then this one takes uh, one so between these two builds, you need eight circuit machines just to feed this. So you can imagine, you know, having four, six, eight, however many more of these, uh, y your inserter build would have to be gigantic to actually uh, realistically feed it. Oh, uh, you mean the screen circuit build? And yeah, it would yeah. have to be massive to feed more than one chain of these. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but yeah, so, you know, this, this works well. It, uh, it's fed. You can see our bottleneck. It really, it, it, it isn't bottlenecked. It once, like, very slightly, this one was. But, um, you know, since all the same craft time, direct insertion works great. And then, Azuri, you said um, a separate build here. Uh, and this is just direct gear insertion, uh, pulling from iron. These pull from iron. Uh, and then uh, this thing, the inserters can feed 12 uh green pack machines because these take six seconds base rate and these you know same as these obviously produce uh two a second and then the belt actually and this may go unnoticed by a lot of people um belt produces two per cycle so this can actually produce uh feed uh 24 i believe uh but yes yeah yeah it's 24 so what i'd like to do for the belts is put a box here so when the belt backs up it'll put it into the box for personal use yeah, exactly. It's it's really nice, and you can just run along, grab it. But um, but really, I mean, that's it. You know, it's it's kind of like once you see it and get the hang of it, it's really easy and straightforward to do this. And uh, we didn't show we didn't show stack inserters uh, because <laughs> we we discussed it and kind of you know came to the conclusion and decided that you really can't feed a stack inserter uh, build uh, with belts realistically yeah it's very expensive and the builds you need to to work it 100 percent 
is unreasonable for most bases. Yeah. So, um, you know, probably you would want to be doing this bot based, and even then, it pr may not be a hundred percent because I mean it's ridiculous how how much you need to actually feed this. Uh, and then we didn't do bot based builds for these uh, simply because it's extremely straightforward. Um, you would literally just like I'm not going to build the whole thing, but you would literally just do something like this: request, export. You know, request. Um, I guess one quick note uh, for something, and you probably have better knowledge of this than I do, Zuri. For a bot build, for something like this that requires uh, a lot of materials quickly, right? Uh, you probably want to set your requests pretty high. Like, what what would you suggest setting request amounts for for something like this? Oh, nearly two stacks, I think. But I would set two requester chests per and split them up for really expensive items. Like the stack inserter, there's no way like one stack inserter can feed that machine. Right. Yeah, that's a good point. So, uh, so yeah, for for things like this, you're gonna want to set your requests uh, pretty high because you know, I mean, even the filter inserter needs four circuits a second. Um, so for your bots to actually deliver it, especially uh, the farther away um, their pickup point is compared to this, uh, the higher you're gonna want to set your requests. But uh, but yeah, so. Bot build, really straightforward. Here's your belt build. Hopefully this helps. Um, I will throw a blueprint of both of these in the description, minus the cheaty power and the uh, matter source things. But uh, I think that'll do it, unless you have any other comments, Zuri? No, that just about covered. All right, awesome. Thanks, guys. I hope you found this helpful uh, and you know can take care of any issues you had with setting up a build like this. And if you have any thoughts, comments, leave them down in the comments. But until next time... We will see you later. Later.